you care at all about Michael, you'll walk right out of his life. I understand you being uncomfortable with what I do for a living. But Michael has agreed to never come to the club. I'm sure he has. And I'm sure he means it. But you don't understand Michael. See, he's impulsive. He doesn't think things through. If he's at the club and there's a fight, Michael can't walk away. He can't stop himself. So I'm guessing you've already seen that side of him. It happened once, and Michael felt terrible afterwards. If Michael gets caught fighting at Vaughn's, his life is basically over. Do you get that? I have confidence in Michael. Michael can't afford one mistake, and you are a mistake. You've made your position very clear. Then don't make this difficult. Stay the hell away from my son. Hey. Hi, Michael. I was hoping you'd be here. Yeah, I'm actually just on my way out. I can't be late for work. No. Don't worry. It's all good. Okay. What did you say to Abby? so terrible that you had to keep it a secret from me. Is there any chance that we can just let this go? I mean, you can have your secrets and I can have mine. I'm not okay with that. All right. If you must know, uh, an old boyfriend has been calling off and on since he heard about Donnie. He's determined to see me, and I, I'm trying to discourage him, but he, he's not taking it very well. He's calling tonight, and I'm, I'm afraid that he'll do something desperate if I don't talk to him. But why didn't you just tell me that from the start? I mean, why, why did you lie about because it? Because I wanted to keep my old life as far away as possible from this one. Well, we're all adults here, Siobhan. I mean, we both have our histories, and I, I haven't tried to hide mine from you. I mean, I've got an ex-wife and two kids. I think I can handle an old boyfriend from Ireland. Oh, I hope you never have to. But I, I, I do have to take his call tonight. Okay, that's, it's not a big deal, you know. I can use the overtime. So. Maybe we can see that band before too long. Yeah, I'd like that. work. He said it would be later. Your attitude is lousy. What do you want? Full compliance. Look, he's getting suspicious of all your phone calls. And reassure him. And remember, you're just a convenience, Miss McKenna. A means to an end. No one is more disposable than you. I've been expecting you. I put together some lovely selections. Yeah. I kept your request for simplicity in mind. Pretty serious diamond. Yeah, but the settings are really plain. Yeah, um, well, she's, uh, she's petite, and uh, big diamond's kind of cliche, you know, the gangster buys a lady a rock, right? I brought other jewels as well. Yeah, yeah. Uh, emeralds are nice. Mm -hmm. Right. I don't want ruby because that's uh, that's what I bought my first wife. Oh. Um, I just want something that nobody would expect, but at the same time, it's inevitable. Mm -hmm. Right? <laughs> yeah, he knows. Ah! Hey, did you talk to Spinelli? Uh, yeah, I explained the situation. You told me to talk to him, so I did. That's great. Yeah. Uh, I, I need to ask you for something else. No, if, it ha if you want me to help with the wedding, I told you, I don't, I don't want to do that. Well, this is not the only you can do. The security part, yeah, I'm going to take care of that. I, I'm Would you like to give me away at my wedding? 